the automobile repair shop. Truthfully, the kingdom of men. Yeah, but not this one. This one here is owned and operated by a woman. And not just any woman either. We're hanging with the legend today on Subida. Hey everybody, I'm JR Cardenas. Welcome to Suvida, your life. That's what, exactly what it means. And when your car stops running, your life pretty much stops running as well. Yeah, I'm Vanessa Ramirez. And you know, when your car breaks down, you take it to a repair shop and the mechanic tells you what's going on. And traditionally, that information comes from a man. But here at 180 Degrees Automotive, the information actually comes from a woman. And you might even recognize the owner. Yeah, it's Bogey from All Girls Garage. I got my first car when I was 16 years old and it was a piece of junk. It was a 1974 Volkswagen Bug and it was in horrible, horrible condition. But every time it broke, I had to bring my car in for service and I hated the way that I felt like I was potentially being treated because I didn't know about cars. So I started reading about cars and then I noticed that the only time women showed up in car magazines, they were in high heels and bikinis and me being the stubborn little girl that I was, I'm like, this isn't cool. I want to work on a car myself. So I took Auto Shop in high school. I wound up falling in love with cars. I absolutely loved the process of taking something broken and fixing it. And so I rebuilt my bug with my high school shop and it was an awesome experience. And then I went up to college. I was supposed to go to law school and go be a lawyer. So I shocked everybody and moved out to Arizona to go to Universal Technical Institute and became an auto mechanic. I started this business in my driveway. I had no idea what I was doing. All I knew was I loved working on cars and I had this vision of creating a repair shop that was all about the customers and making sure that nobody, male or female, ever felt the way that I did when I was a little girl walking into a repair shop. One of the projects that I recently completed is a project called the Chevy Montage and it was an all-female build that we did over the course of about 10 months. Unveiled it at SEMA this past year. It's like the biggest automotive show in the country every year. And what we did was took this old 1957 Chevy pickup truck. It was a mess. And I assembled a group of women to come together and rebuild this truck and completely restore it. It was just me, some of my female friends who work in the industry were going to get together but word got out on social media and it spread and we had all sorts of women who had never worked on cars raising their hand and saying I want to get involved can I do that so at the end of the day over 10 months we had 90 women 30% of whom had never touched a car before or worked with tools in their life. And we kind of built this tribe of women from across the automotive industry, welders, fabricators, painters, body techs, collision techs, mechanics, now all of these women coming together to work with one another and to share their skills with future generations and, and other women who didn't have these skills. And we built this crazy truck and it turned out phenomenally. I still step back and look at it every once in a while and go, I can't believe we actually built this. I want little girls of tomorrow to grow up looking at these things and going, well, of course I can do anything I want. Because I believe that we can tell our little kids till we're blue in the face, that they can be anything they want to be when they grow up. But until they see somebody who looks like them doing it, they don't really believe it. Now that is an amazing story. Yeah, Bogey continues to inspire women, but even if you don't want to be a mechanic, it's really important to know the basics of your car. That's right. Hey, when we come back, Bogey's actually going to join us and give us some little tips about being safer on the road. Oh, More Suvida right after these messages. Game time on your view, Thursdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Subida is brought to you by Chicanos por la Causa. Join the cause for change. Hey, welcome back to Subida. Today we are at 180 Degrees Automotive in Phoenix. Yeah, and we're with the star of the hit TV show, All Girls Garage, Bogey. Bogey, I've got a million questions, but let's go with one of the most important ones. Uh-oh. 
In 2018, I mean, we're so far into the girl power. Is it still very weird to find a female in the workforce that's dominated by men? It is sadly still a minority, but it is growing. I think the most recent labor statistics say that women technicians make up 1.9% of all automotive technicians nationwide. That's but it, it. it is growing. It is growing. We're only 1.6 a few years ago, so yeah. it's on the rise. Well, tell me one of the benefits of having an actual female in the male-dominated workforce. I mean, what are the benefits of having you guys around? Well, I think generally speaking, the more diverse a workforce is the stronger the company is and so when you have men and women working together in different age groups and different nationalities and all the rest of it that's when you really get strength i agree exhibit a vanessa makes this show get all the ratings well bogey like you've proven where women gather together things get done case in point hera hub check them out It's a phenomenal time to be in right now and really create that space for women to just take off. When you're self-employed, going into the office almost becomes a bit of a treat. When I come here, I just feel like this sense of like relief. It's a community of supportive women. There's nobody competing here. Everybody is pushing each other forward. My name is Chesa Barbour. I am the founder and CEO of Hera Hub Phoenix. Hair Hub is a spa-inspired co-working space and shared workspace for women, business owners, entrepreneurs, and professionals. Everything about the design of Hair Hub has been very intentional. So initially when people walk in, there's a lot of plants, there's water features throughout the space to kind of induce relaxation. We have a lot of natural light. We've made this whole place to be a living art gallery. So we have beautiful artwork by local female artists all throughout the space. It brings an element of calm, it brings an element of beauty, and it brings an element of pride where any of our members can come in and just want to be here, but also want to invite their clients to have meetings here and office here and just be very productive, very inspired, and very empowered all at the same time. I'm Eva Janata. My business is Simply Put Strategies. It's an online marketing boutique firm for mission-driven women business owners. When I'm at home, I confess sometimes I'm like working in my like gym shorts all day, like sitting on my bed sort of contorted in like a goofy pose. And that can be helpful, that can be comfortable, but I like coming here because I get so much done here just by virtue of the fact that there aren't as many distractions as there might be at home or even in a cafe. So, you know, when I leave, I feel great and I just go home and like crack open a beer and cook some dinner. I'm Linda Bishop. I am the National Program Director for the National Association of Women Business Owners and um, I office here out of Hair Hub in Phoenix. I have had home offices and other leased office spaces for the past 15 years. Since I've rented my space here at Hair Hub, I mean, I, honestly, I'm getting up earlier because I just wake up and I'm excited to come in. I love my office, the natural light, the colors, everything just fits. My husband's had to adjust a little bit because, you know, I used to be home earlier and uh, so I would, was the one that was doing the cooking and now I call him and say, what are you doing for dinner? Because I won't be home until about 7.30. <laughs> so tables have turned just a little bit, but uh, he's adjusting. Within the city of Phoenix, there's at least 200,000 women business owners and entrepreneurs. And, you know, women are on the rise and they feel empowered. They feel more inspired to be like, you know what, we're going to take this leap. We're going to make things happen. We're going to create the change that really we want to see in our communities, in our societies, in our products, in our services, and in leadership. I can see how the environment at Hair Hub actually lends itself to some creative thinking. Yeah. yeah, it's just a little bit of a different environment than here at the shop, but we've got a lot of creative thinking that has to go on here as well. Well, Bogey, why we like to come visit you here at the shop, if we do, that means that there's something wrong with our car. So are there some things or some tips that we can learn to keep our car running properly? Yeah, first of all, don't only come to see me when you have a problem, because oh, okay. it really is all about preventative maintenance. The more maintenance you do, the more you're going to save money and the less you're going to be stuck on the side of the road and only seeing me when you have problems. And the more one most important thing you can do is change your oil on a regular basis and know how to check your oil. So how often is that regular basis? 
Well, there's a lot of debate on that. It really depends on your vehicle and what kind of oil it takes. But the way I feel about oil changes is I'd always rather see you do too many than do too few. So if they say you can go 15,000 miles, cut that in half. Okay. Do it at 7,500. It's kind of like brushing your teeth, right? Can you get away with only brushing your teeth once a week? No, JR. Uh, you can, but you're not going to keep your teeth or your friends. So yeah. don't so do it. So we're not friends. Brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. A little maintenance on your car will keep it running bueno. And of course, bueno means good. And good is what you'll find at Bueno Marketplace. Check it out. Opening this business with my husband, we chose to um, find a location here in Old Town Cottonwood after um, learning this, uh, this craft in our own house. Um, we love the area. Old Town is the choice location um, in Cottonwood. Um, it's historical, it has a lot more wineries and the tasting rooms and new fun people moving in the area. Um, it's become a more of a destination. My husband and I had just come up with um, some funny ideas about neighborhoods and we thought it'd be funny and fun to have t-shirts with neighborhood names on them and so uh, the next idea was maybe screen printing is the way to go. Screen printing is not part of our background, my husband and myself. We both learned together from the very beginning elementary, um, watching videos and practicing and making lots of mistakes. We both had different jobs. We decided that we would take the, the leap and start working for ourselves. The most exciting part about being able to do our own printing is that we can take an idea and within hours have it on a shirt. What we do then is get it into the computer. We use Photoshop, getting it down to one color or separating out the colors. And then we take that, print it out onto a film positive. We take the film positive, we expose the screens. From there, we're able to create a screen. We decide for that design which was going to be the most appropriate ink to use. Uh, we load it up, we, everything is manual. We have a manual press. We are pushing and pulling the ink ourselves. Everything is done with our own hands. I love the challenge of screen printing because there are so many variables on what can happen. Um, sometimes things go exactly as planned, sometimes they really don't. And sometimes some of those mistakes become new processes that we can use intentionally later. shirts and our ideas and uh, designs we try to be a little edgy and um, and take not so popular neighborhoods and not so popular ideas and try to make them feel good and um, have a little humor with them for us Arizona represents uh, diversity it represents a return to local artistically and creatively and we're very proud to be a part of Old Town Cottonwood and its resurgence it's very important to support local art because it is our soul. It is our soul of the town and this is what, this is our community and it's our family. Hey, Bueno Marketplace is located in Cottonwood, which is not too far from Phoenix. I think that's a great reason for a road trip. Oh, absolutely. But before you take any road trip, you want to make sure your tires are in good condition. Yeah, that's right. When we return, Bogey's going to give us some tips on tire safety. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Su Vida, brought to you by Chicanas Por La Causa. I'm Vanessa Ramirez. And I'm J.R. Cardenas. This here is Bogey from the hit TV show All Girls Garage. Now, Bogey, let's talk a little bit about tires. Now, it's summer. A lot of families jump in their car and take off to escape the heat. Give us some tips about tires. Yeah, so tires are probably one of the most underrated things about your car. And really, when you think about it, only about a patch this big times four is what's connecting you to the road. It controls your braking ability, your handling ability, and even your fuel efficiency. So making sure you're checking your tire pressure and your tire tread on a regular basis is crucial. Yeah, the penny thing, you know, put your penny in between the crevices, and if it's blah, 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 there's... Bring it here, and they'll check it for you. <laughs> yeah, do that instead. <laughs> that's no, great. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to do that. So, that's great advice, Bogey, especially when it comes to cars. So an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Helping cure people is what these two respiratory therapists used to do. Now they're helping people in a fresh, roasted way. 
check out La Vida Coffee Company. had a passion to own my own business. Um, when I started working with one of my coworkers, me and her just always talked about opening up a coffee shop. We just visited different coffee shops in the areas. And one day we were talking about it at work and another one of our coworkers just came and said, hey, I hear you guys want to one day open a coffee shop. And he said, how about if we do it mobile? He, it was his idea to actually do mobile. We wanted to do a concept that would reach like our people, especially like our parents who are like from Mexico, you know, a lot of times like if our parents go to Starbucks, they don't know what to order, you know, so we wanted to make it friendly for our family who comes from Mexico, somewhere where they may feel comfortable going. And then um, the name, we just thought like, what does coffee mean to us? So to us, coffee means life. Every, I mean, everywhere you turn, people drink coffee, so coffee is life, so that's why we chose La Vida. The original name was Volver a Vivir, which means return to life in Spanish. So we had to change the name, but we found that most people couldn't say it. So then we had to do a trade name and do La Vida Coffee Company, which has turned out great, because it means La Vida, life, and it goes with the same concept. Terry, I have your chata latte. Oh my goodness, thank you, it's delicious. We wanted to incorporate Mexican coffee flavors or chata, cajeta, all the sweet stuff that everybody loves. Cinnamon as well, a lot of our drinks are cinnamon based. We just thought of all the flavors, like growing up, like what did you drink at your Nana's house? And it was like, chocolate abuelita. So then we're like, oh, we should make a coffee with abuelita chocolate, Mexican caramel, which is cajeta and dulce de leches. And then the horchata, like that's a very popular, you know, traditional Mexican drink. Mexican flavors that we feel that would taste good with coffee. You can't go anywhere and get an horchata latte or a cajeta or what, you know, we have a churro latte. You know, I mean, where are you going to go get that? And so where the response has been huge, to tell you the truth. We're, we're really expanding fast because they just love the way we incorporate the two things together. I've always told myself I don't want to work for somebody for the rest of my life. I want to be my own boss. Being in the Hispanic culture, I think we have a lot of drive and it makes me feel proud and I'm hoping that it makes the rest of our family proud. God knows why he puts certain people in your path and so just having a conversation three years ago becoming friends with Norma she had the same dream. I feel very proud. I know my family is very proud of me. My mother is very proud you know coming from Mexico like in that her child coming from nothing who she, my mother did to how far I've come and being able to fulfill my dream. Dive into it and not be afraid and just go for it at the end of the day. You have to live your dream and go for it. Well, I know this place absolutely runs on coffee. Well, it looked good. I could use a cup. I think we should take a coffee break. Hey, don't go away because when we come back, we're going to talk about a maintenance item that often gets overlooked here in the desert. It's because we hardly ever use them here. Stay right here because Bogey's going to give us some more tips when we come back. So Vida is brought to you in part by Mega 104.3 and 1011 The Beat. Hey everybody, welcome back. We've been hanging out with Bogey from the hit TV show, All Girls Garage, a show that empowers women to take automotive maintenance into their own hands. Yeah, and before the break, we were talking about a maintenance item that often gets overlooked because we don't use it here in the desert. And when we do decide to use it, it just kind of flakes out on us. <laughs> That's right, we're talking about wiper blades and the Arizona heat just absolutely destroys them and they kind of die of boredom. So then when you do go to use them, they're torn, they're streaking, they're not clearing the windshield. And in our torrential downpours and sandstorms, that can be a really dangerous situation. It's the small changes that make big differences. On today's show, we've showcased some amazing women that, like Bogey, have created their own opportunities. And interior architectural designer Norma Escando Michaels is another strong addition to that list. Check this out. I knew at an early age that I was interested in architecture and I actually didn't know exactly what it was. So I remember when I was about nine years old, we were given the task in school of deciding what we wanted to be when we grew up. And my idea was to build a city, and I actually had a whole city that I built, so I didn't know if it was architecture or engineering that was my interest, but I was always building houses from cardboard boxes and drawing up floor plans and just coming up with different concepts.
When I went to ASU, I studied architecture, and there weren't very many women in the program. The field has really changed. When I first started off in the field, and for many years, whenever someone came, called ASID and asked, can you recommend a Hispanic woman who's a designer to, that I can talk to? And they'd say, oh yes, we'll give you Norma's number. She's Hispanic. <laughs> So if that tells you anything, there weren't that many women in the field in Phoenix that were Hispanic either, which I thought was really interesting. It's changed so much since then. Generally what we do is I meet with a client and go over their, re their needs in their space. There's a lot of psychology in this business and trying to understand what their needs are. I often will collaborate with them, come up with ideas. Sometimes I will create a mood board, which will give them a direction that I think that we'll, we should go in as far as colors and finishes. And from there, we go into finalizing some layouts and collaboratively with the client, come up with locations for furniture and finishes. It's really not just my vision, it's their needs and their vision as well. When it's all done, we do a final walkthrough and make sure that the project turns out exactly the way it needs to. I have to say that I'm very proud of my work and it, I take a lot of pride and it is always wonderful when I hear people say positive things. I was at TASC's headquarters not too long ago talking to the CEO and all of a sudden I overheard one of their um, clients walking in he, and he looked around and he goes, wow, this is nice. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'm having an impact on his life as well as others. And often when I'm talking to my clients and I walk in and they, they'll, they'll say, oh, this is our designer, Norma. This is, I take a lot of pride in that because everyone's very complimentary. It's hard to describe what it feels like to create a project because it feels like a part of you is in that project. And every project I've created, there's a part of me. And I can really sense that there's a connection. There'll always be a connection. All right, on today's show, we've met some amazing women, just like Bogey, and behind our camera, Karen Robinson, our producer, first camera, Esmeralda Costa. Thank you, ladies. Yes, thank you. And thank you, Bogey, and everyone here at 180 Degrees Automotive in Phoenix. You guys showed us a lot of great things today. And if you have a problem with your car, you need to bring it here. Yes, 180 Degrees Automotive in Phoenix is where you need to go. And by the way, these ladies here, they know their stuff. Oh, and make sure you check them out on Velocity Channel. All Girls Garage is the name of the show. And like me, you can probably learn how to change a few things, like my exhaust and my intake. Nice. Good job. Yes. Congrats. I'm proud of you. All right. We'll see you next time on Subida. Subida.